Here's a picture of Niagara Falls. The textbook says, boys and girls, the rocky ledge above Niagara Falls has been eroding for nearly 9,900 years. Now, how do they know that? Well, the rocks are breaking off the edge. I mean, all waterfalls do that. They break rocks off, and the waterfall eats its way backwards, okay? Flows one direction, erodes the other direction. Niagara Falls is moving back 4.7 feet a year. Charles Lyell went there in 1841 and said, well, Niagara Falls is here. Obviously, it started up here at the cliff by Lewiston, New York. It's moving back down the gully. He said it's 10,000 years old worth of erosion. The people that lived there said, Charlie, it erodes a whole lot faster than you think. One good rainstorm and there's a whole lot of erosion takes place. He figured three feet a year, purposely to make the Bible look wrong. He hated the Bible. We'll get into more of him on video number four. Today, Niagara Falls is way back there, split over that island. There's actually two Niagara Falls, the Canadian side and the American side. It's eroded back quite a ways just since Charles Lyell's time. The textbook says, this gorge that the river runs into, it runs in, is seven and a half miles long. A simple calculation shows it's been 9,900 years. Oh, it's not that simple. See, Niagara Falls is right here. It started off further north up by Lewiston. If the earth is millions of years old, why hasn't it eroded back to Lake Erie by now? Why is Niagara Falls right there? I have a theory about that, okay? Now, here's my theory. You see, about 6,000 years ago, God made everything, and 4,400 years ago, there was a flood. As the flood water was running off, whoosh, about half of that creek washed out in 20 minutes. So it looks like it took 9,900 years. They forgot the flood. They also forgot to get the right number. It should have been 8,400 had they used 4.7, but, you know, what do you expect? Okay.